Hey everybody, Monkey Farm here, and today I am going to show you basically how to set up a, a drum machine or a sequencer, whatever whatever word you want to call it. It's a music looping type of machine. Um, so I'm going to basically just kind of give you a background on how to work out the timing. Uh, basically what we're going to do is set up a bunch of music tracks. Uh, they're all just loops of uh, 16 notes so there's eight there's eight on each side and they just loop around as you play them and um, you know making music in Minecraft is, there's no real right way to do it um, for example you could make a full drum beat right here in this loop with different instruments or you could make just the hi-hat noise, which is what this glass makes, you can make a loop of that and then make a loop of the bass drum and then a loop of the snare and all three of those put together if you turn them on will make a drum beat as well. So, you know, there's no right way to do it and that's what I want to kind of just give you the background about this uh, because if you've seen my other videos you know that we still have some work to do in the rave room um, I'm going to be adding some kind of music machine or uh, looper or sequencer whatever in the rave room and uh, this is going to kind of give you a background on what I will be doing uh, I still don't have the the plan fully figured out myself but uh, to show you basically how this works, we have a clock or a timer, whatever you want to call it, and this is not necessarily the correct way to make a clock. This just happens to be I added I added enough repeaters to get the timing right. So what this will do is go in a loop and it will repeat and then I can turn on or off this track right here. So I'm going to turn that back on. So each time this sends a signal, these noises will will all play and they will just run out after 16 notes here and you can make this more than 16 notes as well if you want you can make it you know you can make it really long and then uh, just need to add more repeaters here because basically what this does is times the signal each time each time the loop needs to start again that's what this is going to do so um, why don't I increase this repeater so this is going to be a delay and what you'll see is that now there's a space with no noise in between this last note and the first note and obviously we want them to loop repetitively and and you know seamlessly we don't want to know where it ends so we want the timing to be right so I think I had it on the second one let's see if that was right Nope. Oops. Okay, so now there's there's no gap in between the end of this loop and the beginning. So it can continuously loop and just sound like it's uh, a repetitive beat or uh, you know, loop, whatever you want to call it. So now that we've got our timing right on this one, we can set up another track. And this one, I'm going to use stone, which will be kind of the bass drum noise. And Minecraft has, I think, five note noises for the uh, for the note blocks. Oops. There is the the one block that always has to be misplaced here, right? And there's another. So, why don't we shut this off before it drives us insane? And we're going to put note blocks on each of these. And then we will connect them. Wow, we're just messing up like crazy today. Okay, so we need some repeaters here, and what you'll notice, these repeaters will come in handy because redstone only goes so far, right? And in between each loop here, we have to have a repeater to keep the signal going. So this loop 
needs to happen with less of a delay than this one. So I have this one on the second tick and this one on the first tick. And that's basically just going to balance out what this repeater does. It's adding another tick. So basically two ticks here and one, two ticks total here. Um, I hope that was clear. Now if any of you have uh, played instruments or done any music recording on your computer or anything like that, um, you know, this should come in very, uh, you should know kind of what I'm getting at here with the timing and, and uh, why I used 16 notes. So, I mean, music usually goes in fours, you know, that's the, the most standard uh, beat one two three four so basically this is just kind of four of those to to make it longer to give us more um, more options on how we want our sound to be or how we want our loop to be okay and now we need to basically connect the signal in why did I put that there we need to connect the signal between each of the uh, note blocks. So we're going to put a block here next to each uh, stone and then we will put redstone on them and then we will connect each of those blocks with repeaters. Um, so the reason we do that obviously is the repeaters will power that block and this redstone will be next to the note block so this will power that. Alrighty, I have, I have uh, only two people bought tickets for the concert today. Fluffy and Muffy over there. Okay, we're gonna connect these with repeaters. They also need to be on the second tick, um, and this is flexible too. It it all just goes back to how you have done the timing for your. How do we do that one? The timing on your clock, so um, these don't have to be on the second tick. Uh, it just happens to be the timing that I've set up for the first loop, so I'm going to keep that the same. Um, this will actually come in handy if, if you do it on the second tick. The reason is that, let's say when you're playing your loop, you wanted two of these note blocks to hit quicker, to, you know, very closely together, you could switch this to one tick so it would speed up the time in between these two note blocks and then just increase this one to cause the delay. It'll basically balance it out. So little quick tip for you there. We're just going to leave them all in the same though just because we're going to keep this simple and we've got that. Okay, why don't we turn this back on? So we'll turn our clock on and we have track one on and we have track two on. And by the way, I, I have both of these on the third tick. It, like I said, it doesn't really matter as long as all the timing matches how your clock is sending the signal. Um, so let's go ahead and break a couple blocks here and make some noise. Oh, I already have a block broken here. Okay, why don't we uh, add a snare loop here. I will be right back. Okay, why don't we turn this on and add some snare notes to our little drum beat. Sounds a little off. Aha! And exactly why is it off? Because there's a delay here. So we need to 
increase both of, the, both of these ones. So now we have this on three ticks, two ticks, and the first tick. There we go. Now everything is in time. So that's how you do it. Obviously, uh, you will probably forget uh, to set the ticks on your repeater sometimes and you'll go why why does this not sound like it is uh, in time and it's because you forgot that and then you'll fix it and then everything will be in time and there you go there's your drum beat so uh, make sure you're subscribed I will be fi once I figure out the the big plan what I want to do in the rave room I will be doing another video of uh, installing that and I uh, have some other cool things for that for that build as well so um, anyway there you go there's some of the basics on building a little mini drum machine I hope it helped and we'll see you guys again soon